All right, guys, doing another lesson series for SeanCheek.com today. It's my website uh, that teaches you how to read music. And this is a piece by Claude Debussy, French composer for piano, called Gollywog's Cakewalk. It's, it's his sixth suite uh, from the children's corner. And very standard classical piece to learn. It's one that I had uh, played, you know, when I was a child. Uh, even though it's, you know, called Gollywog's Cakewalk, and for, you know, Children's Corner, it's definitely not a, a kid's piece. Um, but it's not, you know, one incredibly difficult or anything. I just did the Chopin Revolutionary Etude. It's nothing compared to that. But <laughs> we'll get started here with the uh, free part one that I always put on YouTube. We'll do just the first four measures here for the introduction, and if you like it, you can uh, become a member of my website, SeanCheek.com, and learn the rest of it. You can also download, download the sheet music as a member for this, but... And then we have the... Uh, after that, but we're just doing the first four measures. So, um, we take a look here at... Um, the key signature, we have three flats, and so that tells us we're going to have B, E, and A flats automatically. Now, if you have trouble reading music at all, and you need help re just learning to read music, you need to do my boot camp series on SeanCheek.com, my 50 videos that really just get you reading the treble and bass staff without uh, having to guess and to count from one note to the next, to really know what the notes are, to read them uh, effectively and quickly. So those are a big help even if you've played a lot of music and if you've learned to read music incorrectly uh, reading can be a big hurdle for you. Uh, you need to re reteach yourself and my lessons on the site do that. Um, so I'm going to assume you can read music already if you're up to this and, and playing this and you've gone through the sight reading boot camp series uh, if that's necessary for you. So we have three flats B, E, and A and so anytime we have one of those letters, B, E, or A flat, right hand and left hand, we're going to flat it automatically, okay? <clears throat> and I want you to notice also we're in treble clef for the left hand, so both hands are in treble clef, okay? So notice that. And why do they do that? Well, because if the left hand's playing really high, it, it, it's going to look even harder, be harder to read if they wrote it in bass clef, so we write it in treble so it's easier to read it. So both hands are up high. Let's take a look at the right hand first. We have a B flat up here to begin with. It's up here, okay? We have middle C, the next C. So this is the B flat that we want. Then we're going to go to A flat. And I use 4 3. They're, you know, fingerings are subjective. There's not one fingering that'll work, and only people can use that, or you can't play. It's not true. Their fingerings are subjective because every hand is built differently. So B flat to A flat. Then we're going to go back to B flat. And then we're going to go to F. Uh, either with your thumb or your two finger, whatever you like, back up to B flat. So B flat, A flat, B flat, F, B flat. Now the rhythm is bum 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 because we have a sixteenth going to an eighth. So da da da. All right. So this one's gonna last a little longer. One E and a two. And if you wanted to count it, we're in two four. So two beats per measure. This is the first beat. And this comprises the second beat, and it's one E and a two, and if you want to count it, one E and a two, and we have our staccatos on there and our slurs. I'm trying to do the articulation the way it's written. Bum, 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 or bum, 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 bum. Now the left hand has the exact same thing, but an octave lower. So same notes: B flat, A flat, B flat, F, B flat. Okay. I should play that one short. I'm forgetting the staccato, that second note. Okay, now if we put them together, no big deal, right? For that first measure, play that till you really get it down. Then we'll look at the second measure. Um, so the right hand, we're going to have. It doesn't have a staccato this time, so we want to not staccato, but. We're going to have A flat to F, A flat F, um, I use 5, 3, 2, 1, that seems to be best for me, but A flat to F, 
and then E flat, and then the last note's going to be a C flat, okay? C flat's right here. So we know a C is this note. A C flat is like playing a B natural. Okay, but it's C flat. Ba, ba, ba. Left hand's going to do the same thing. A flat, F, E flat, C flat. Right there. F, A flat, F, E flat, C flat. Ba, 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 ba. Is the rhythm. Both hands together. Okay, now let's put these two measures together. Measure one and measure two. One, two, ready, go. measure is, if you look at it, it's actually going to be the same notes as we did over here. A flat, F, E flat, C flat, an octave lower, of course, but it's the same notes, different rhythm, but same fingering, same notes. A flat, F, E flat, C flat. Then the left hand is going to do the same thing as well, but notice the bass clef now. We're in bass clef. So what we're used to, A flat, F, E flat, C flat, and I use one, two, three, five, just like before. And the rhythm is one, E and a two, one, E and a two, one, E and a two, okay, one. And I get that E and a, this is how I was taught to count, so you have four note, four sixteenth notes. We always counted, our counting syllables were one, E, and, uh, it's a one, E, and a, so that's where I'm getting one, E, and a, two, and one, E, and a, two, and, so, it's kind of from my upbringing. <clears throat> so, again, right here, and one, E, and a, two. Now, let's tie it together. Let's play all three measures now. One, two, ready, go. All right. Wrong notes there. One, two, ready, go. And one. Let's do it again. Two, ready, go. And one. All right. And then the next measure, <clears throat> these first four notes are again going to be what we did over here. A flat, but now the, the right hand is in bass clef. See that? So the right hand's in bass clef now. And it's A flat, F, E flat, C flat, just like before. 5, 3, 2, 1, again. Da, 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 da. And right at the end on this right here, we're going to have D and G to play. Okay? The left hand does the A flat, F, E flat, C flat thing, but really low. A flat, F, E flat, C flat, ba, 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 ba. And then, um, a B flat. So we get to our five chord here. <clears throat> We're in the key of E flat, by the way. And B flat is our five chord. So right here we have a B flat octave on the left hand. That with the right hand with the D and G, we have that. And it's kind of like if you went that chord sounds weird to you, you know, if you're in E flat, you can hear that, you gotta hear it that way, so, da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> all right, let us then play this measure hands together, one, and a two, and, one, and a two, and, da, 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 da. Now how about let's do all four, but at a slow tempo. One, two, ready, go. And one. And one. And then here we have <clears throat> a whole measure of rest. One and two. And you gotta count that silently. So make sure you count it. One and two and Okay, let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. Two, and one. And one. One, and two, and. Then we'll proceed. There's your free part one. I definitely finish all of these on the website. <clears throat> so, see you on SeanCheek.com. Hope you enjoy it.